Good morning all and welcome to another brand new video on the channel and today as you can tell by the title I'm going to be walking about 25 kilometers that's right 25k in the hunt for fish and chips now that is Tor Point over there I am currently on the Plymouth side of the River Tamar it is currently 5 to 6 in the morning, 5.55 am and I'm waiting on a ferry to come over this side to take me to the other side. I literally didn't even finish streaming that long ago. I've had some pasta, I'm carved up, I've got me new trainers on which are white and probably get going to get ruined. Now, did make another slight error today and that is that I didn't bring a jacket because it said 0% chance of rain and it looks like it might pee it down. So this could be fun, we'll probably get absolutely, well I don't know, watered on. It's, it's going to be a long and eventful day. What I am going to quickly do is step in here because the wind is coming and hopefully this will protect me. I know the audio is going to go a little bit silly now. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget, make sure to subscribe. It is free to do so and don't forget to drop a like on the video as well if you enjoy it. Thanks for all the recent comments. I appreciate it. Now, I'm going to do the best I can to work on keeping the camera a little bit more steady but it's on like a gimbal so at the minute I don't have face or if I lock it on the face it's hard to get the background and if I lock it on the background then I can't get the face it's a bit complicated but Techman Pie is basically sort of working on it so yeah I'm hoping this ferry won't take too long it looks like it's loading on the other side probably take another 15-20 minutes I reckon to get over so I might not even get to the other side of about another half an hour now, I looked on Google Maps and it said it's nearly seven hours. Now, I have done this route before in the other way and there's like a half a mile elevation either way. It is very hilly, which is a downside. Now, I'm now near the, basically where we're going to in Loo, which is a lovely like village slash town in Cornwall for fish and chips. Um, there's a horrible hill like sort of coming into it, which really isn't nice. So yeah, that's gonna be pain later. So I think I can do it in just over five hours. I'm gonna aim for five hours, gonna be my target. I'm probably gonna try and walk at like a bit of a swift pace. So I don't know how often I'll bring you back like on the walk. I know there's some nice spots, shall we say, on the way that are lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for the ferry, um, limber myself up, get my legs ready, and then tour point on the other side, and we'll kind of like, checkpoint it as we go. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. I'm shattered on like no sleep, but I thought walking that long for fish and chips, why not? Right, we are off the ferry. And we are here in Torpoint, Cornwall, which is literally on the other side of the Tamar. So we're out of Devon, we're into Cornwall. First part of the walk is a very, very long hill. Apologies if the audio is very blowy on this vid. Basically, I've got the mic, but I think A, I forgot a little adapter piece, and B, the slight problem with it is you have to keep like turning it on and off, and I'm not really gonna be doing like long stuff, so. It's a bit complicated on that front. If I quickly flip this around though, this is Tor Point in Cornwall. I mean, they've got a co-op, which if it's open would be ideal, because I'd love to get a bottle of water even though I've got a cup in my bag. But unfortunately, I don't think it is. There's seagulls absolutely bloody everywhere. Like literally everywhere. Oh, sorry mate. Well, he did put his hand up, he wasn't happy. At the chip shop there, that would have saved me some time, wouldn't it? But I've got my recording software on. I'm going to try and basically do this at a decent pace. That's the plan. Whether I've still got that in my legs or not, I don't know. But we shall see. I'll bring you back the next place, the little village called Anthony, which is like the next spot of like, how do you call this? Checkpoint. There's like a few checkpoints along the way. I kind of bring you back when I get to there. It's in a couple of miles, so yeah, it's very uphill though. So I'm gonna get moving and get there as quick as I can. Hello and welcome to Anthony in Cornwall. Like it's, I mean, it's not a stop or anything. It's just civilization, which is quite hard to come by on this, uh, on this walk. The Karoo Arms, I have been in there actually once before uh, for a pint 
Uh, we went, uh, shout out to all the uh, like banana bus lot and all the, uh, the, the walking for bomber lot. We did 27 miles to our friend uh, Bomber. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Bomber, what a man. We walked from basically further than Lou to Plymouth for Millwall at home. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a long walk. So this is like a little bit less. So I know, I say I know I've got it in me. I just, I'm getting a little bit old now and uh, I feel like my joints are going a bit. As I played in goal, I was younger. My hip is not great. My knee is not great. Falling off the bike yesterday has not helped my knee. But yeah, I mean, literally, if you want a history lesson, I'll do anything about it. It's in the middle of Cornwall and there's not much here. So I kind of feel like progress is good. It's 10 past seven at the moment. What time I was, I, I, I was at the ferry at about five to six. So we're about an hour and 15 minutes in. I mean, I, I don't know whether to trust Google Maps or not. I feel like I've kind of done the sort of common error here of believing myself over what the automation says. And the automation is probably normally right. I mean, this, by the way, I'll tell you now coming up. It's, it's hard to show on the camera, but this bit is steep. I'll tell you now. I remember walking down this hill last time and that was when we were like 20 something miles in and my feet are absolutely gone. So. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain. I asked Siri, she said 0% chance, although I just felt a drop, so maybe I've, uh, maybe I've cursed myself. West Country passion for food. I, on the, speaking of food, by the way, on like a slightly side note, shall we say. Uh, I did eat not too long ago, about 4am, thought I'd have some pasta to keep me going for the walk. And uh, yeah, I didn't go to the loo. And it's probably really nowhere I can go to the loo, so <laughs> get me, get me quite literally to loo. I also, by the way, it just hit me because I got a runny nose and I'm not in a tissue to run it. I might still have half be dead around my face. So if I do, you can laugh at me. Honestly, anyone that lives in like London, you get like nice flat walks. I've got to give a shout out to Bateson, by the way, who's got like the walking inspiration back, shall we say. Like, I just don't know how his walks are, whether they're like flatter, you know? I've seen Robbie Knox do them, like nice forest walks. And they're kind of like, you know, rubbly, but flat. And this ain't none, like none the wise of it, honestly, this is nothing. I know what's to come, because I'll tell you what it is later, right? Basically, we got off the ferry at sea level and Lou is in the port, right? So we end at sea level. We're literally going up, keep going up, and then you get to a part later where the hill you go down, and I know it's bad because I've been up it, is horrendous. And then you literally have to go back up on the other side to the same height you were. Who designed Cornwall? I'm not religious, you know, or anything, so I don't believe that, you know, it was old man upstairs, but I mean, you could have helped out the fat man a little bit. See, this is kind of now what this walk sort of consists of for a little bit is like sort of main roads like this. It's just feels, but it's lovely over here. Once you get over like kind of like these hills, which are again are vile, um, it is a lovely little coastal walk. There's a, guy, there's a golf course in that up there, which I'm terrible at. Will any of these put their hand up? I've put my hand up at every driver. Will I get a hand up? Oh, bloody hell. That's like the second one. Shout out to that guy who actually put his, his finger up to say, uh, to say cheers. Also, I know it flips around when I flip the camera. Sorry about that. I can't really help it. It kind of just like auto flips. It's almost something out of like Emmerdale, this. I have a feeling this walk is going to get painful. My hip is already not the greatest in the world but alas we press on it's almost like because i've not been on much sleep even though i'm going away from my bed every step i take closer to loo and to the train station is like a step closer to my bed and and glorious glorious sleep which i desperately desperately need It's hard to show, I don't know how easy it is for you to see, but in like the far distance, 
So if you can see the coast over there, that is basically where we're going and further. So that's almost like the next stop. Uh, it's a place called Down Derry. It's very Tory, I'll tell you now. It's very, very posh down there. And then we've got to basically go all the way around the cliff and down into Lou. There's a there's a long way to go yet. I'll keep thinking in my head. I'm I'm doing pretty well for time. We have stomped all right, but yeah, it's, it's, it's distance. Hello and welcome to Craft Hole. This is the next sort of port of call, shall I say, on the walk. I mean, I'm going to spin this around. That That is literally it there. That, that, that is craft up. Uh, there ain't much here. Uh, it looks like a lady walking a dog, maybe a pub. I can't lie, wouldn't mind a corner shop, actually. I'll tell you what I do like, I drink a lot of water. Wouldn't mind a Pepsi Max cherry, just to quench the old uh, thirst. I know the irony in the fact that it won't quench my thirst, but there ain't much here apart from there's a golf course a bit. I will show you the golf course, and the next part of the walk is all right, if I remember. Oh, look at that, look. Some blooming sheep there. There. Yeah. Right, bye. Loving life, Jesus, yeah. So the next bit is kind of all right. Bit of a coastal, it's a main, it's like a road, but it's a coastal. And then it kind of, that's where we get a little bit uh, hilly, shall we say. But I'll update you shortly. There you go, look. I knew there was a golf course, that's old number 13, and lucky for some. Looks over the bay, it's not a bad place to play, is it? If you're any good, have you got a bit of Tiger Woods action going on? But yeah, going forward, I have got other plans and projects. Kind of like these walks as well, because it gives me an opportunity to like clear my head a bit, have a think, think of ideas. As I say, we are, I think we're at 13,000 subscribers now on recording this, so thank you very much for subscribing. I do really appreciate it slowly but surely we're building the channel which for me honestly i'm buzzing with it and hopefully sort of the bigger we can build it kind of like the more challenges and stuff i can do i'm kind of just getting used to vlogging in general i guess like it's really weird it's almost like a confidence thing like kudos to anyone that like vlogs all the time like people like syndicate or like you know people that make travel videos like sam wilson not a care in the world just doing their own thing without people thinking about what you're up to because i'm still struggling a bit kind of like when i'm in busier places just in my head it's like i mean it's like almost like in the gym and it no you think people are watching you but no one really cares what you're doing because they're just focused on themselves and it's kind of like that with sort of the vlogs and vlogging and whatnot so you know i'm learning slowly but surely i think trying to pick it up trying to pick the camera up trying to pick so i don't get hit by a van trying to sort of work out things and how it goes really but to kind of show you what's coming up here because i'm going to flip it around again not sure obviously that might work a little bit for the vid but got some hills and stuff over there in cornwall and then the sea is just over there i don't know how long this video will end up being by the way like it might end up actually being quite a long one depending on how much so sort of like footage i managed to get slash put in it really some more seagulls seagulls everywhere that's one thing you find but i've had people say like thanks for like mentioning like plymouth and devon and cornwall as being a nice area because people seem to think down south is like a mess oh fiat 500 club there she didn't want to put her hand up um people think like this honestly it is a lovely part of the world and uh if you do live down this place i i do recommend trying to go out and walk in i, I did it all the time after covid and recently i kind of haven't done it as much and I've been meaning to get out and do it more. And I think adding the vlogging element is kind of getting me to do some steps here. I mean, why am I walking 20K for some fish and chips? Because I'm stupid, you know, literally stupid. I don't even know what time I get there. I might be there early enough that I wouldn't even be able to get fish and chips, but I know one of them opens at 11.30. So progress has been good. It might slow down slightly now. Now we're like kind of, it's this path. It's then a very big downhill, which I've walked up, which is absolutely vile. And that's when things are going to get really horrible because like it's actually called Lou Hill. So you basically go up, down to sea level, up and down to sea level again. Fun, fun times. I'm sorry for waffling, by the way. I, as I say, if you, if you enjoy the waffle, let us know. If you don't, please leave a comment. Obviously, if you don't like it, feel free to dislike the video if you like it. 
please feel free to uh, leave a like. It does help me out. And I'm always open to ideas. Like if you want me to go to places, like I am willing to get on a train and go somewhere and try it out. Please let me know if there's any way you want me to go and check out and get involved in. I also can confirm from what I remember, Operation Lou, not the place we're going to Lou, is in the other Lou. Uh, there are two pubs down here, so I'm hoping one of them will be open so I can have a, a brief stop. I can probably wait the, I don't, I, now I, I tell you now, I say if you Google from Plymouth or like Tour Point to Lou, it says it's a six hour and 47 minute walk, which I'm telling you is a snail's pace. I think I've been going for about three hours and I'm probably about, I don't know, nine, ten miles in. I can't explain how worried I am about the hill on the next side. It's, I'm already dreading it, like literally dreading it. Like, honestly, who designed Cornwall? Hello, we'll go from high up to sea level to high up to sea level. Thanks. Here we go, look, into Seaton Harbour. This place, or bay, is blooming lovely. And up there, you see those very tall trees, yeah. That's the hill we gotta walk up. That's the pain. Over there is basically where we're going. Over to Lou, excuse the trolley camera work. But we've gotta go, oh yes. Like this next bit, the pure dread. The absolute pure dread. The only good thing is, it looks like this place down here might be open, so I might be able to have a very quick comfort break, which would be banging. The smugglers in. Is that the one? That's what it says. Let's check it out. You're right, boss. Yeah, good mate. You? Oh no, it is not open. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, that does not look. Oh, we're mudded. It's over. Open Monday, Saturday, 11 a.m. It is quarter past nine. I found the loo. Is there going to be a miracle? Oh, yes, there is. That was uh, very much needed. I also can say that the uh, for the people of Seaton, which seems like a very posh place, that that toilet was um, very colourfully decorated. Is probably the uh, polite way to put it. There's a pigeon there, look, Richarlison. Um, yeah. So I'm now going to attempt to go up what is called Lou Hill. I tried to have a look at maps, but I couldn't get a signal. I tried to wanted to like gauge an idea of how actually far Google Maps seems to think this next bit is. When I looked, where I had you at the golf course, it's kind of almost like the same distance. It is what it looks like on the map, but I can't lie. Um, we've now got, well, tired legs. I am struggling a little bit now, I can't lie. And of course, an uphill section, then a downhill and an uphill. So. I'll probably bring you back if there's a nice area. I know there's some like really nice houses up here actually I want to show you guys their building. Like they're crazy, crazy, crazy houses. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Excuse the heavy breathing. This is like what I'm talking about. Look at this, look. It, look, it reminds me of like something like Thunderbirds, mate, or like Hollywood, you know? Ridiculous, ridiculous new build houses. I mean, I wonder how much like these are gonna set you back. I mean, like literally this area is just like pure rural. Insane, man, insane. I, I literally wouldn't even known it existed. Look at them, look. Gotta be a couple of mill a pot, right? Like, surely. Love to know in the comment section. Have a guess, like without cheating. What do you reckon one of these will set you back? I'll tell you what, we'll knock the price down. Living on a ridiculously steep hill the first part of it's done it's just one of them mate it's just like our girl's disappointment look it's just it's so hard to show you on camera but like the gradient's ridiculous it never ever 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 ends So just to know, I don't know if I can show you here, but I have come dressed in all blue today. Last time there were comments, yeah, my dress sense, I understand, is terrible. 
today I've got an all blue, I'm in Adidas, I'm well coordinated, also my shoes which are white um, that I bought in the last vlog have managed to stay white-ish but I know this bit is like the main bit of mud as well so they're probably going to get like destroyed. I feel like I've done pretty well to keep them in, uh, keep them in, keep them in good stead. Mate, this isn't closed for the winter, but look at this. There's a blooming monkey sanctuary here. A monkey sanctuary. I love that. I would have loved to have gone in there. Hey, I'm gonna have to check that out. Monkey sun. Next time I come back here, which to be fair, I don't know the next time I'm walking back here, it'll be a while, but yeah. Go see some monkeys in the middle of Cornwall. Didn't think that was gonna be something that I'd be uh, seeing today, that's for sure. Mate, I don't know if you can see him there. He's gonna win the uh, 340 at Kempton. Go on, lad. Sorry, I haven't had any footage, by the way, for the last, well, I mean, you don't know how long it's been. It's been about a second to you, but like literally the hill up and down. I'm, I'm nearly there now and I am. I am struggling and once again I'm gonna flip this round as you can see we're going down to then go back up there again it, it just doesn't end it just never ever ever ends and there it is the finishing line Lou Beach So welcome to the lovely seaside town slash village of Lou. What an absolutely lovely place. Now if you do come here on a glorious day, it will look a lot nicer. I'll tell you that. We've got the RLI behind us. Ice cream shop is closed. I might be a little bit early for the chippy and there's a train soon. Sorry, this camera. I might have to get a new one because when I when I basically when I crashed my bike, I might have absolutely ruined and wrecked it i'll tell you that now but i'll try and show them behind me it is absolutely lovely here honestly beautiful 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 got the sea there you got east slew and west slew there's two sides of it i'm gonna head down to the train station now it's literally like a single train branch line from Liscard. it's literally an hour from plymouth i've got to be careful mate because there are a lot and I mean a lot of angry seagulls. They are aggy seagulls. Should think Brighton are playing. Yeah, sorry, basically the camera is having an absolute merit at the minute. I seem to have caused uh, big issues. But I'll tell you something. I've got here so early that like nowhere's open. Literally. I mean, look at that. Look. It's like a Harry Potter shop. If you like Harry Potter, that'll be banging. No copyright issues there, I'll tell you that. Got some Indian fusion pasty shop you know what the best bakery here is down here and it's on the way to the train station so i'm definitely going to go in there get a pink finger bun get a pasty because you can't come to cornwall without getting a pasty even though devon does it best say it quietly but literally like nothing is open but let me flip this round look at this stuff. it's so nice here it's like ridiculously like old school proper seaside place mate Old guy rules, mountain way. Bang it, it's a shame the chip ain't open, but can't win them all. Oh, mate, look at that. That's not the bakery to go to, but look at that. Look, that ain't the bakery where I'm going, though. Please tell me they got some Pepsi Max Sherry, please. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll take that for the train home. Oh, what a time to be alive. It's all blowing water as well. It's like the desert. Larshy blows, mate. Lou Bakery. Larshy blows. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. All right, all right. Can I get a pink figure bun, please, and a medium pasty? Oh, my God, you're joking me. I'm heartbroken. Um, I'll just get a medium pasty, then, please. Warm, please. Cheers. Thank you very much. Take care now. Nah, mate, I'm not having that, literally. The thing is, I've skipped all the other bakeries that come down to go to that one to get a pink finger bun. They've got no pink finger buns. Oh dear, oh dear. I've not even got face detection on. I'm sorry, I'm... There's that much tilt in the vlog now that I've not managed to put face detection on. My camera's broken. I'm raging that I've not been able to get a pink finger bun. 
How the hell can I run so bad? Right, the train is in eight minutes. So I need to run. Oh, mate, there's another bakery. I've got to try and get one. Right, no pink finger buns. It looks a bit in the hole of loo. Apart from the bakeries I went past, I am literally, I might have to put the camera down and run like Mo Farah to get this train. I was going to say, I mean, he don't run at lightning pace, he just runs quickly and consistently. I got my Pepsi Max cherry, I got a pasty, no fish and chips. If I miss this train, head will be gone. I might have to run. I've got. Oh dear. There is a god. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made the train. It has not arrived yet. What a life. I mean, look at this. I do like trains. It is a beautiful little station. Did I risk missing the train to get a chocolate bar? Yes, I did. I don't know if I can get that in shot. I wanted the Marvelous Creations, but they didn't have any. So I got a dairy milk and I got my pasty. And I'm going to sit and enjoy it and get on the train. the noise but yeah if you do like the long vlogs you're in for a treat this one I mean my brain is frazzled um, we're heading on the train now to Liscard change to Plymouth get to Plymouth absolutely done I mean I'll probably just show you a little bit of Liscard getting into Plymouth on happy days I'm not going to lie it's a bit of a it's broken apart a bit but very meaty a solid 8 out of 10 not as good as the ones at Argyle excuse me I'll tell you that for a fact but 8 quid for me to go in was wrong it's probably cheaper than to get on a train from Loo to Plymouth than it is from a taxi from Blue Station to my house. It's ironic, isn't it? Sunny Liscard, where the weather actually is sunny. Just now I'm about to get home. It decides to get nice. Look at that, by the way, that signal box. I'm a proper train like geek. I love it, that's proper nice. Right. Don't know what time my train is, but I don't think 11.49. It's currently 11.35. If my maths is correct, you've got 14 minutes. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I can taste me bed. And there you go, there you have it, Plymouth Station, back home, happy days. Right, I am off to get a ridiculous amount of sleep, because I am knackered. I'm taking the night off tonight from streaming, because I need a little bit of chill to Hopefully I wake up by the end of the night. Calm down, mate, I'm trying to do my outro here. Bus replacement service here, literally like the station is empty. I'll be back here, well, not tomorrow, but Saturday for another train to London. So, thanks again for watching. Please don't forget, if you did enjoy, Drop a like, I know it's going to be a long one, and uh, please do subscribe if you're new. Catch you in the next one. All the best. Peace. Excuse me, love. Calm down, please.